everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Kendra and today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog and in my book club on Facebook we be booking I'm in an event for this month where I have a book buddy and we chose a book and we annotate as we read through the book and then when we are finished with the book and finish annotating everything that we want to annotate we send the book to our buddy and then they will read over my notes and my buddy is Jacqueline at we be Bookin and we chose Eleanor and Gray by Brittany C. Cherry and this book is highly recommended by Shelby as Shelby Taggart reads and this is about Eleanor and Gray they she had a crush on him in high school I believe and then years go by and she ends up getting a nanny position and lo and behold the kids that she's nannying for are gray so it seems like they I don't know I guess it's their romance so we'll see what happens <laughs> pages into this book and I am loving it so far. The nostalgia of this book is amazing. Uh, right now it's taking place in 2003 while Eleanor and Gray are in high school and I was in high school that year as well so that's pretty cool. They keep referring back to like the Spice Girls and Mr. Rogers and Harry Potter and uh, The Lion King, so that's really fun to read about. But Eleanor goes to this party with her cousin. She's reading Harry Potter in the corner, and she this is where she meets Grayson, and he is so freaking sweet so far. Oh my gosh, he already has stood up to her, so I have a feeling this is gonna be so cute. All right, gonna keep reading. Bye. Okay, so update. Grayson is the sweetest thing in the whole freaking world. So she said that she wouldn't go on a date with him unless they had something in common. So after like two or three weeks, uh, he came and found her and was like, I read all five Harry Potter books. So now we have something in common. So now they're, they plan their first date to go out. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Love it. Love this book. So far, freaking good. Okay, bye. About a third of the way through the book now, so that's good. And then this morning I read a little bit more and I'm still loving this book so much. It's so good. 
Um, I guess at the very be- at the very beginning of the book, uh, Eleanor finds out that her mom has cancer. So Gray is helping her get through that, and it's so sweet. And I have a feeling it's going to be so so emotional. So. I'm excited to continue on and I'm hoping to finish this book today. And also last night, Jacqueline sent a picture of herself after she finished this book and she was bawling. So I'm prepared to cry. I know it's going to be sad, emotional. I don't know. I just know it's super, super sad. But so now I'm going to go put some chili in the crock pot for dinner tonight. And I will catch up with you guys later. the first part of the book and it was so incredibly sad um, it yeah so sad so now I am on the second part where it's uh, 16 years later and her and Grayson have lost touch so I'm curious to see how they reconnect so but this book is so sad. Hmm. I am overly halfway done with the book now. I'm to the part where Eleanor is Grayson's kid's nanny. So that's interesting how that came about. But this new, this new Grayson is... He's very, very cold. Um, he's not very nice to Eleanor at all. So I don't like that part, but I'm hoping he, you know, changes some now. But he does have his reasons for why he's being cold and, and such, but overall, I... I hope he changes and 
I'm excited to see where the relationship goes. So you will see, I, hopefully I will have this book completed, hopefully by tonight. So you will have my final thoughts in the next clip. So I'm going to give my final thoughts on Eleanor and Gray by Brittany C. Cherry. I have finished it. I have sent my book to Jacqueline and she's read my notes. I've received her book and I've read her notes. And this was such a fun ex experience. I really enjoyed writing my notes about the book when I was reading it and I definitely give this book five stars. This was probably the most beautiful book I've ever read. Um, this will probably be one of my favorites of all time. And I think what I really love the most about this book is how emotionally connected I was to the characters. And I feel like when I am emotionally involved with the characters, I tend to love the story more. So I think that's why I always give romance novels higher ratings than I say like thrillers or any other book that I read. And this one was phenomenal. The um, I loved how each character grew as they got older and I loved how Gray went from when he was older from being mean and standoffish because of the traumatic thing that happened in his life. And I feel that Eleanor really helped him get out of that dark period in his life. They finally found each other again after so many years. So I found that really amazing and this was just a amazing book. If you have not read this book, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you read it. It is so, so good. And if you have a buddy to read it with you, that's even better because it was so much more fun because we got to talk about it with each other. And I guess that's all of my thoughts on Eleanor and Gray. This was a fun experience to get to share with Jackie. So I'm glad we did it and that's it for me. I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.